Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I haven't uploaded it in a while. Um, I've been quite busy. Uh, I've been also, we went to our holiday. Uh, we went to Tangaluma Resort. Uh, it was a very nice holiday. Um, uh, we had, we fed the dolphins. If you guys been there, you should comment down below what activities you did. But if, we, if, you, if you guys went there and you stayed in the resort, we did the dolphin feeding and we did the ATV, um, quad bike tours and that was really fun so I couldn't upload on those videos I did take my phone and I do have another channel that I will link down below I created another channel it's called um, every place uh, so you guys can go check that out every place I go I basically just film the view um, and I posted it f I posted the view of Tingaloom on there so I have another video for you guys I know I haven't posted a long time I've just been like not feeling like it I know I have supposed to be building um filming um even though like i know like i wasn't i was supposed to be filming but i didn't um i just didn't feel like it you know i was i wasn't staying consistent like i said in my other video i wasn't doing that myself now i have a it's kind of a sort of a tech I'm not sure though it's kind of a tech i think it's kind of tech half stem science but it's kind of technical because you've got um, I'll show you. Here it is. So it is a uh, it is a remote con well, controllable traffic light. So I, it's kind of boring. Like I didn't really want to do this video, but I just wanted to make a video and get it out there, you guys, because I haven't posted in a while. But this traffic light is cool because it's got like so this gate right here. This gate does go up when the traffic light is actually green. So what happens is you turn the switch on, which is, I built this by the way. So I put like the wires there and I also put the batteries in this compartment. This container, um, plastic container did come with it. I didn't build this. Um, this was built and I just had to attach it here or I just had to put the wires in. And then the gate right here, I just had to put the gears or I think it, I had to put the motor in. And all of those and then i put the gates in i put the wires the wires came in there and then i just have to wire them and then there's these metal contact uh, metal contact little cone looking things and what they do guys is they contact uh, con conduct electricity to all the wires so if one of those is not together because as you can see there's two that each one has so red red and black black and red red and so all of them are just connected and each of them have the same color connected wires so if one of them is not connected to each other that's actually gonna be not working and it's not gonna work so this this one right here at the back here is actually for the gate so if that if those if one is unplugged the gate won't work so i'm going to show it to you guys right now so currently it is on so if, so if i press this button Oh no, that was bad. Um, so, so what what will happen is since I press red, it was going down. So if it was up like this, if I go to green, watch this. What? Oh. Okay, I have to have it like this, because then otherwise it'll go that way because it's going up. Okay, so now if I go to red, this will work. Isn't that cool? Like, it, it works, like, it's just the wires that, that are connected to the lights, and it's really cool. I got this from Kmart, uh, I think it was about three bucks, I think it was three bucks for this thing, it's really cheap, um, but if you guys are living in another country, maybe Walmart would have it, if you're living in America, but, or any other state, but this, yes, so this is really cool, um, these gears do have a spring, so as you can see, it springs back like that if you turn it because it goes this way when you turn it that way it's kind of like a screw so these wires right here are really thin so you have to be careful not to break them otherwise um if see like you have these covers you have to you have to put those covers on they're not really hard to put on they're basically just um easy to put on and you can even there's even different um co like different um shapes so this is actually a pedestrian walking uh, shape right here so if you take this one out so if you just pull to come out so you see like the, that's the light so the little three lights um, and then this is the cover so if you get this cover 
and if you put that on you can see that it has the walking symbol and you can see that the guy the guy is standing still and if I go to green the guy is walking is that's really cool how they include a walking uh, a walking one so I just take this one off and put this one back on let me just see where's the hole there we go and then it'll work like normal. So this was a very, um, very short video. I was just trying to make you, uh, trying to make a video just for you guys. Um, you might have saw in my other videos. It might have been down on the ground there. Um, and I just kind of, I just, I wanted to do a review, but I didn't, wasn't sure. Um, I was gonna do it before we went to our little holiday stay, um, but we didn't. So. Um, and if you guys haven't been to Tangaluma, it's a great place to go, like, it's a great place. And those shots that I have in my other channel that you guys can go check out, they were, the first one was from our resort, and then the second one was from, the second one was at the beach. So we were walking on the pathway, and I could, I could film the beach, which, um, was really cool, I loved it. Um, I was sad to come back here. Because even when we went to Stradbroke Island, if you has got, guys have been there, um, I loved it. Uh, and I never wanted to come back. And same with here. But I, the boat ride to Tangaluma is really like shaky. And it's not good. I don't feel nice when I'm on there. But Stradbroke boat is fine. So anyway. Um, so yeah, this is really it. Um, that's all That's all it is. Um this this was three dollars that came out uh really cheap i actually bought it myself when i went there so all you have to do to turn it off is just flick that switch and it's off so that's basically it guys um i think maybe in a few days time i will do a review so bye guys catch you later and i'll see you but next time